Want to make some serious money with ClickBank and affiliate marketing? Want to try native ads but worried about your budget? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with native ads for as little as $25 to $50. That's right. If you've got a budget of $25 to $50, you can get started with native ads today. A lot of concerns about running native ads with a low budget center around optimization. If you don't get sales quick enough, you can't optimize your campaign, right? Wrong. In this video, I'll show you how to optimize your native ads campaign. And I'll show you how to do it before you've made your first sale. So if you're ready to make some serious money with ClickBank and native ads, you need to watch this video. Hi, I'm Dave and I've been affiliate marketing since 2007 and I want to share my experience with you. If this is your first time visiting, please click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I load up new money videos. Please also smash the like button to give me a little boost in YouTube and to let YouTube know that you like this kind of content. Stick around to the end of this video and I'm going to give you some affiliate marketing case studies that you can copy and start making money with ClickBank today. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to set up a campaign on native ads. Now, you've probably heard before that setting up a campaign on native ads, you need lots and lots of budget and it's just endless and it's going to suck money from you, right? And it's true that you need to have some budget to test with, but you don't have to be throwing thousands of dollars at this every day. You can get started on native ads for as little as $25 to $50. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to set up a campaign um, that's going to be $50, uh, $50 a day campaign. And I'm going to show you how you can optimize your campaign without getting any sales. So as soon as you start getting clicks through, as soon as you start getting impressions, you're able to go in and optimize your campaign. You don't need to wait for that first sale. Okay, you can start getting closer to that first sale from the get go. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to find some creatives. We're going to set up a campaign. We're going to set up a landing page and I'm going to show you how you can optimize without having any sales. OK, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to our spy tool Anstrex and in Anstrex, we're going to be able to find campaigns that are running successfully promoting the kind of products that we want to go after. And we are going to, um, with that, be able to um, find creatives, find landing pages that we can use to give ourselves a head start in our campaign. And this is super important, right? Because if you don't have insights when you're first getting started, then you're going from zero. So you're going to be spending much more money up front testing to find something that works. If you can uh, find something that is already working and you can jump on that, ki that uh, kind of campaign, then you give yourself a head start. You're not doing as much testing up front. OK, so what we're going to do in Anstrex is we are going to search and let's say we want to promote a product that's in maybe diabetes in that um, the diabetes uh, kind of category. So we're going to search on diabetes. OK, here we go. And then we're also going to filter down on days. So we want campaigns have been running for, say, at least uh, 10 days. 10 days is a good starting number to go with because we've got campaigns, as you can see here, that have been running up to 535 days. OK, so um, there's obviously successful campaigns on here. OK, and then uh, what we can also do is we might want to filter this down on uh, geo. We might want to go to down here and just see what's working in the US. OK, and so we'll get some results right now. And OK, nice. And then one last thing that we want to do is we want to go sort by date last seen descending. OK, so it's been running for at least 10 days and it's new. OK. All right. So um, we've got uh, some eggs here that looks a little bit like an alien. Um, it's got a little mouth. It looks like something out of Star Wars, actually, out of the bar scene in Star Wars. OK. And then we've got uh, we've got a nice image there of just like a before and after. 
Okay, and what's this? Diabetes disappears after a month, if every morning. Um, this one's kind of a good headline. How long has this been running? Um, okay, it's been running for, what, almost a month. Um, I, I kind of like... This image catches your attention, right? So that what's he holding? And then also... Um, the headline's pretty good. Diabetes disappears after a month if every morning, and you really want to kind of finish the sentence there. So that's a, that's a good one. Um, we might actually give that one a go to start with. Okay, so we, the, these are pretty standard headlines that you've seen a lot of if you've ever looked at diabetes products with spy tools. Fighting diabetes, this discovery leaves doctors speechless. All right, doctors stunned at odd link between diabetes. And, and that's another finish the sentence one, although it's not quite as effective because then it, it kind of makes awkward reading, having diabetes free, obviously freedom maybe, on the end there like that. All right, so um, what we're going to do actually is let's just interrogate this one a little bit more. This one's caught my attention. Okay, so we're going to go in here. All right, this one's running on add now. And let's have a look at the... Wow, look at this. Now this is quite a long um, a long landing page. And so what the reason it's so long is because it's um, actually looks like it's uh, acting as more of a sales page rather than a landing page, rather than a bridge page. Because what's gonna happen is this particular product you're going to click on the order button and it's going to take you through to a base uh, a thing that says, okay, enter your address details and we'll send you a free trial. Or enter your address details and we'll send you your first pack of these supplements for, um, for no more than the postage cost or something like that, right? So basically, in a case like this, the landing page has to act as a sales page, right? So... Um, we're not going to be promoting something like this. We're going to be promoting a ClickBank product. So um, as far as the landing page goes, we'll look for a different landing page. But I do like this image. Um, so we're going to save this image. All right, so let's save this image. Uh, let's just call it image one. All right, and close that. Now, what we also want to do is... I'm in the way here. I also want to grab this headline, so let's highlight this and copy that out. And we're going to go to our document and we're going to paste that in. All right. I, I really quite like this headline. Or I really quite like this. I really like this headline. Okay. So we're going to go to creatives and we're going to see what other creatives he's running with. All right. So we've got, oh, that's a really weird creative. Um, okay, so we're going to grab something else that might be diabetes related. We'll see what else has been running. Okay, so that one's been running for over a month, that image. Um, I don't know if that's diabetes because that's running in a different country. So that's, these two vegetables will kill your belly fat overnight. Okay, what else have we got? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Can I filter by country? No, I can't. Add strength descending, date last seen. Let's go with that. Date last seen descending. Oh my goodness, there are some crazy ads going on here. Okay, uh, what's this? Let's grab There's some really weird things here. Okay, but the weird things are important because the weird things are what gets attention. All right, discover the shock of. Shine cure diabetes in two days. How long has that been running? Okay, that's been running a month. Let's grab this image. We're going to keep the headline that we've we've already working with, but let's uh, let's go with that. Okay, so image two. Okay, all right. So let's close that. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to shove me back over here, and so we've got uh, we've now got our images right. But now what we want to do is we want to get a um, a nice landing page right. So um, we're going to go. Let's have a look at this landing page. A nice simple landing page. Okay, let's go full screenshot. Okay, that looks good. One simple method to keep you. That's okay. We're going to go with that. That add. How long's that ad been running? Let's have a look. 
Um, October 2 to October 17. Okay, well, actually, maybe we'll go down and see what, find one that's been running a bit longer than this. Um, October 5, October 5, October 1, October... What's this one? Is this more the same? Is this, is this even an ad? Okay, let's have a look. Let's go to the page. What have we got on the page? Oh, I like the look of this. Click or tap. Okay. Oh, I like the look of this. This is going to get a click through, I'm sure. Okay, so let's download and deploy this page, right? So we're going to be able to download and use this page straight away. All right, so we'll go um, use proxy just so we're anonymous. Uh, we'll go OK. And then we we'll go here to see the progress of that. And we're still going. There's the one I did last week for another video. Um, that's downloading now. So as soon as that's finished downloading, we're going to edit the links in there so that we can get this ready to go. All right, so we've got our landing page here. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit the landing page and we're going to use the quick editor and we're going to edit the links only. And what we need to do is put a placeholder in the links so that we can later replace it with our affiliate link. All right, so we're going to go edit links. And for all the links, we're just going to put in um, put link here. OK, so that's easy to find later. We'll copy that out and paste that in, in all the link places. OK, bum, bum, bum. There we go. All done. Nice and tight. OK, replace. OK, success. OK, so we say OK. OK. And then we'll go go to step three. And then we say, OK. And then we're going to zip and download. All right, now that that's downloaded, we're going to upload that to our website. All right, now it's really important that you have your own site to do this. And the reason it's important that you have your own site so you can host a landing page like this is because you will get more conversions if you have a landing page. If you don't have a landing page, if you're just direct linking with native ads, your conversions are not going to be as high. You are going to make some conversions provided you run the campaign long enough, but you won't make as many as if you've got a landing page. And this is something that I've found out the hard way through a lot of testing. Every time I've tried to do a direct linking campaign, I'll make a sale here or there, but I can never get it into profit because you don't make enough, right? With a um, landing page, you're going to get far less people clicking through to the offer. You're going to get far less people clicking through from the offer to the order page, but you're going to make more sales because the people that do click through the offer are more likely to click through the order page and the people that do click through the order page are much more likely to actually go ahead and purchase. So um, I strongly recommend that you uh, use Anstrex and you download your um, landing pages through Anstrex and you have your landing page set up on your own domain and um, you'll just need a cheap hosting to do that, all right? You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to get some kind of um, really expensive hosting. Just get a cheap hosting and um, you can load your landing page up there. Okay, so right now what I've done is on a domain I've got uh, Bioenergy Codes. I've got a little subfolder on there called Test and we're going to upload that um, zip file that I just downloaded from um, from Anstrex. All right, so we're going to go to upload here. OK, so here we are. That's This is the file that we downloaded from um, Anstrex. So now all we're going to do is highlight the file and we're going to click extract and that's going to extract all the files into this folder so that we've got our index file and all the graphics and everything that we need. OK. OK, so here are all our files. So the one that we're interested in is the index file. So we're going to highlight that and then we're going to go up here and we're going to edit the file. All right. And now all we need to do here is we need to do a control F or command F. And then we need to type in that keyword that we replaced with all the with all the links um, before in Anstrex so that we can see this file. So it was like put link here. Yeah. OK, 
So you can see put link here is right there. So later we're going to replace uh, this put link here, all the instances of it with our affiliate link. So, but before we do that, what we need to do is we need to find a product to promote. So we're going to go over to ClickBank and find a product and that product is going to be a diabetes related product. So let's go over to ClickBank right now and have a look. Okay, so we're in the ClickBank marketplace now. So we're going to do this as quickly as possible. What we're going to do is we're just going to search on diabetes uh, as a keyword and here we go and then we're going to put it in uh, rank order because keyword relevance order is a bit weird always in um, Clickbank all right so we've got Ulti balance we've got the smoothie diet we've got diabetes freedom we've got uh, lean belly three times so some of these are not necessarily directly diabetes related we've got Sarah care and we've got Carbo Fix, four offers. Okay, so I am going to go with one that's not actually the top ranked one. I'm going to go with Seracare here. And the reason I'm going to go with Seracare is because I've got experience promoting this product before and it converts quite well. And one of the reasons I think it converts very well is because it's got a really good sales page. But to get to the really good sales page, we've got to edit the affiliate link a little bit. So what we're going to do is go Promote, we're going to uh, put in just a temporary TID like that, generate a hop links, copy that to the clipboard, and then go bang, finished. All right, then we're going to go back to our notepad document, and we're going to paste that into our notepad document here. We're going to go back to the affiliate resources for Sarah Care, and we're going to go down, and you'll see with the um, affiliate links, right? If you, the affiliate link has a little thing on the end that says CB page equals one, and we want to copy that out because CB page equals one is the um, video sales letter, all right? So we want to go over here and we're going to go question marks, CB page equals one, and then we want to put an ampersand here. So we've still got our TID, all right? And then we're going to copy that out, and then we're going to paste this into our address bar and this will take us through to the Seracare landing page. All right, and this is pretty good, like diabetes, Dr. Shock, does this fat molecule cause diabetes? Okay, so it's a pretty good, pretty engaging sales page. So we're gonna use this one. All right, so let's go back. Now what we're gonna do before we um, put our affiliate links in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, volume and we're gonna set up an offer. All right, and the offer, is um, the Sarah Care offer that we just found. So we're going to go create offer. And what do we need to say? We're going to give it a name. So we're going to call it um, Sarah Care test. Okay. And then we're going to put our paste our offer URL in here, paste. And then we're going to remove the XXX and we're going to replace it with the click ID by tapping that. And um, I remember now I'm in volume, so I should probably go up here instead of down there. All right, and uh, we're gonna click save, and that's our offer set up. All right, now what we need to do next is we need to set up our landing page. All right, and our landing page is going to be super important. All right, so we're gonna go create lander, and we're going to give it a name. We'll just call this Sarah Care Test as well. All right, landing page URL. So it's HTTPS bioenergy.codes slash test. Okay, my subfolder is test. All right. And then what we need to do is we need to get our click URL. And we're going to copy that out. And using that click URL. All right, so we're back at our landing page, right? So we're gonna to go to the top. Let's go all the way to the top. This is a long landing page. Oh my goodness. All right, control up, control, control up. Okay, now we're at the top. All right, so we're gonna search for put link here, which is what we replace in all the links, right? So it's easy to find. And then we're gonna replace it with our um, click URL from volume. And we're going to replace all and you'll see there, it's not holly-vresort.icu. Okay, that's good. Right, now we need to go back to volume and we need to copy the landing tracker script and we need to go back to our landing page and we need to go back to the top and we need to find, this time, the end of the header tag. Whoops, I haven't typed that properly. The end of the header tag, which is here. 
And so what we're going to do is we're going to paste in our volume tracking script there. Then we're going to save changes. Then we're going to go back here and we're going to say verified landing page. All good. Nice work. Love your work. All done. Save, save, save. All right. So now we've got Seracare test offer, Seracare test landing page. Now we need to marry them together with a flow. And so we go to flows. Go create flow. And I might be in the way again. Okay, name, we're just going to call this Sarah Care Test, like so. All right, and then we go next. And then we go Landers. And we want Sarah Care Test and Offers. We also want Sarah Care Test. Okay, and you'll see that I've actually got test two on here. And uh, the reason is because I realized that I already had a camp uh, uh, offer called Sarah Care Test. So um, like I had a list, I had two, and I didn't know which was the right one to choose. So I've changed the name to Sarah Care Test 2. All right, so let's go save. Now we've got our flow. Last step is we need to actually set up a campaign. All right, so we're going to go over to campaign. We're going to go create campaign. We're going to go native. All right. Now, where am I going to put myself up here? Maybe. All right. And we're going to say, like, let's go for, we might go down to, um, where are we? We might go down here and we're going to go with, whoops, I clicked on the wrong one, Rev Content. Okay, Rev Content is a really good network with some really good placements, okay? I'm just gonna set the campaign status to pause because I don't want this to go live, this is just a test. Okay, go next, I'm gonna call this Sarah Care Test, let's put a two there just in case. Okay, we're gonna go Flow, we're gonna go Sarah Care Test, like so. We're going to go brand domain, or well, the brand domain is sarahcare.us. Okay. And that's all nice and good. So we go next. So we're going to select United States like that. Okay. And then we're going to say, all right, we want web. And we're going to go after desktop. And let's see what kind of trap we got. Ah, oh, that's all right. So. Targeting web and desktop, we that gives us 21% of the traffic, which is about um, 17 million impressions. Okay, so that's a pretty good uh, number. All right, so we go next, and we're going to go. Let's put a total budget just because we want to be safe. Whoops, just because we want to stay safe, we're going to put a total budget of whatever you're comfortable with, right? So if you want to put 250, put 250, right? Then you could leave the campaign running indefinitely. It's never going to spend more than $250, all right? Daily budget, we're going to start with $50 a day, all right? And uh, we don't need to change this. You can only, uh, your campaign is going to spend as soon as possible. Um, you can only set to smooth if you've got a daily budget of 250 or above. Okay, and then we go next. Okay, now it's time to set up our creative. So we go new creative, and we're going to go with this one first. All right. Okay, that's nice. And then we're going to go with this second image, like that. Okay, very good. And then we're going to get our headline which is diabetes disappears after a morning if after a month if every morning all right we're going to paste the same into the description that description is not going to show because we are running desktop um, and web this description would show most likely if we're running to in app and we're not doing that okay displayed brand name let's just say seracare Okay, done. And we want an icon, so I'm just going to put an icon that I generally use. Okay, you can download any fav icon just by going to Google and typing in fav icon um, PNG or something like that, and it's going to give you a whole swag of images that you can um, borrow. All right, um, and CTA button again. It's not going to show most likely unless this is in app, and we're not doing in app. So, but we want to go watch now. 
All right, we'll go create. Okay, so both the ads have been created. You can see them there and they're pending, which is what, um, what it should be. Go next. And then we're going to go frequency capping one. Um, just so it's only going to show our ad to um, the same person once in a day, right? So the same person's not going to see our ad like 15 times, okay? So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, a lot of impressions. Okay, so um, we're also going to run the campaign on a schedule. Let's run it um, during um, business hours in the US. So we're going to go, beow, 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 beow. You know, you know, say between eight o'clock New York time and let's say six o'clock okay and I'm gonna keep it running Saturday and Sunday for the moment just to see what happens okay we'll go save Boop. Boop. and I've got an error oh my good I always forget to put the bid price in okay so um, let's go up here what have we got uh, we've got 98 cents for 75 percent of the traffic that's pretty uh, reasonable okay so we go um, with that 98 cents recommendation go next next save and our uh, campaign is ready to go all right so how do you optimize the campaign if you've got a low budget and you haven't made any sales yet and you want to get your campaign optimized as soon as possible to maximize the money you're spending towards sales okay so i'm going to show you that right now so i'm actually going to take you in and i'm going to show you a campaign that uh, i didn't have any sales with and i'll show you how you can optimize a campaign before you've had sales all right so i'm going to click the report button and then what I've done is I've clicked the um, inventory and the sites uh, link here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, this one was run through MJD. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the relative uh, money we are spending and the relative click-through rate of the images. All right, so we're going to look at two fields. We're going to look at CPV and ICTR. Now, CPV is your cost per view. All right, now your cost per view, you don't want this to be high because every person that sees your creative, if that's really high, then that placement is just going to be high all the time, right? So you want to turn that one off, at least for the moment, until you've seen sales coming through. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort by CPV. All right, so we've got here, like our highest CPV is $2.94. Now, actually, that's not what I would term bad. CPV can get to like $10 or, um, you know, $5 or $10, sometimes over $10, right? You definitely want to turn those off. But it's also relative, right? So if the CPV is higher relative to the CPV of all the other placements, then you want to turn that one off too, right? So you'll see that the majority of the CPVs are $1 or under $2 and below, right? So what we would do in this case is go, well, relatively, you know, when it's over $2, that's expensive. So anything that's over $2, we're going to turn off, right? So from here up, right, we go off, 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 off. All right. So um, that's what we do there. With ICTR, what we want to do is this is your click-through rate on your creatives, right? This is not the click-through rate from the landing page to the sales page. This is the click-through rate from the creative to your landing page, right? So what we want to do with this uh, ICTR is we want to put this in uh, reverse order, right? And so um, the ICTR, oh, sorry, this is actually descending order. So like ICTR for um 4.84 percent that's an awesome click-through rate right so we've had um, obviously this is because we haven't had that many impressions right we've only had 62 impressions so, and we've had three visits so it's going to be high right as we get more impressions the ictr is going to go down right there's no question about that um okay 
So this is the um, ICTR. So what we want to do is we want to get kind of an average, uh, just a quick idea of the average, right? So we're going, this campaign hasn't been running that long. So um, what we would be doing is I, I would say anything that's below 0.4, we want to turn this off, right? And you'll notice the ones that we just turned off have also got a low ICTR, right? So that's one of the reasons that their cost is so high, right? So what we also want to do here is we want to say under four, like so 0.39 under, we're just going to turn it off, right? So off, 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 just like that. And we just keep going down and turning those off. Now, this is the way that you can optimize your campaign when you haven't made any sales or when you've only made one or two sales, right? Because you don't know um, what is going to bring in the sales. So what you've got to do is you've got to go, I'm just going to cut the placements that are costing me the most money or are the least efficient. And that's what we're doing. By turning off the high CPV ones, we're turning off the ones that are cost inefficient. And by turning off the low ICTR ones, we are turning off the ones that um, are not getting enough interest. And maybe that's because the site where the placements are showing is just so unrelated to um, what we are trying to sell that no one's interested, okay? And so let's just turn those off, all right? So that's how you can optimize your campaign so that you're spending your money most wisely. Even though you haven't made any sales yet, you can still optimize. And guys, just one last thing before you go. I just wanted to show you the landing page. I forgot to show you in the uh, main video. This is the landing page um, from Anstrex that we loaded up to our own site. And you can see, look, the video is highlighted. And even the, um, even you can't see them. Let me move this screen up a little bit. Um, so uh, even the links down here, the privacy policy, whatever, because we replace all the links with our affiliate ID. Now what's going to happen is even down here, I think you can see this uh, over in the corner, the left bottom left hand corner, you can see not holy dash v resort dot ICU. So that is our, um, that is our affiliate link there that we replaced on this page. So everything's hanging together really nicely. All right. And actually, this is a pretty good looking uh, landing page. Okay, so you want to see some case studies where I make money with ClickBank before your very eyes? These are real life affiliate marketing campaigns built on ClickBank from scratch that actually make money. You can watch me build these campaigns and see the results coming through. I'll show you everything behind the scenes. Check out this video here. You can copy everything you see in this video and start making money with ClickBank today. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click like and subscribe.